everyone nowadays is looking in a way or the other to shrink his project. It's either because he's trying to save space on his projects or because he has very minimal and a simple code that doesn't need so much space or resources. In today's video, I'll be talking about the 809085 microchip and I will be showing you how to program it using Arduino Uno and how to upload the sketch with the very easy steps. So welcome to CSAS and let's get started. On step one, number one, what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and connect your Arduino Uno to your, to your computer or your laptop just with the USB cable as in this picture. I have only laptop, USB cable and Arduino Uno. And then what you want to do is go ahead and launch your Arduino IDE with a new sketch that's an empty sketch and go ahead and click on file examples and then go to Arduino ISP and then Arduino ISP sketch wait for a second or two to load the sketch and here we go we have the Arduino ISP sketch open I'm gonna go ahead and close that empty sketch and now what we're gonna do is we are going to do upload this Arduino ISP sketch to the Arduino Uno so that the Arduino Uno is gonna be like a programmer for the our IT Tiny 85 to do that is you need to go to tools and then go to the boards and then click on Arduino Uno Once it says installed, go ahead and hit on close. And then after that, we're going to set up the settings to get ready to upload to, to uh, um, burn the bootloader to the 8085. 80, what you're going to need to do is go to tools, board, and then you're going to see two new boards. You're going to select 8080. 25, 45, 85 and then you're gonna go to tools and processor you're gonna need to select 80, 90, 85 go to the tools and on the clock you need to select the internal 
8 megahertz and go to the tools the port you're gonna need to keep it as it is selected for the your Arduino Uno and on the programmer please pay attention to this on the programmer you need to select Arduino as ISP not Arduino SP Arduino as ISP go ahead and select that once everything is ready now what you need to do is connect your 8085 to your Arduino Uno so I'm showing you in this diagram wearing diagram and this is the ID8085 and this is the Arduino Uno as you can see this this microchip has eight pins one two three four five six seven eight so pin number one of the microchip of the 8085 is going to be connected to the pin number 10 of the Arduino Uno and then the pin number four is going to be connected to the ground of the Arduino Uno pin number five is going to be connected to the pin number 11 of the Arduino Uno and pin number six of the 8085 is going to be connected to the pin number 12 of the Arduino Uno number seven is going to be connected to the number 13 of the Arduino Uno and number eight is going to be connected to the five volt of the Arduino Uno and the most important thing you need any capacitor that have it around you need to connect it between the reset pin and the ground pin of the Arduino Uno once you get everything connected as in this diagram close that one what you're gonna need to do tools burden bootloader as you can see here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the tools burn the bootloader and as you can see here done burning the bootloader when that's done now our 8085 is ready to accept any sketch that you want to upload it to it for example I'm gonna go to the file example and a very basic blink example before that I want you to look at this picture right here all right so this is the 80 dining 85 right here and these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are actually a physical numbers or physical pins numbering so if you want to use this pins on the Arduino sketch these are again different numbering so for example number two if you are programming on Arduino is gonna be number three do you see Arduino pin it's gonna be number three and number three is going to be Arduino number four and number five is going to be Arduino number zero number six is gonna be Arduino number one and number seven is gonna be number two so please be careful with this because I have run a lot I have run into a lot of problems because of the pins uh, uh, numbering so just refer to this one if you want like you can take a picture or something you can save it on your for your reference and make sure you are using the Arduino pins instead of the physical pins on your sketch I am going to use the physical pin number three which is on the Arduino is gonna is gonna be number four Let's go here then the built-in LED we're gonna remove it because this sketch is written for Arduino Uno we're gonna do it number three that's a physical pin 
actually physical pin number three is going to be number four on the Arduino and it's going to be number four and that is going to be number four here so what we're going to need make sure that all the settings are corrected here now go ahead and click on upload and that sketch is going to be uploading to the ID Tiny 85 it's not going to be uploading to your Arduino Uno once it's uploading you see here and now it's done and ready and let me show you how it's blinking as you can see right here how the LED is flashing and actually I connected that LED without a resistor that's fine sometimes but it's recommended to put a resistor it's just for to show you how the sketch for now it's uploaded and it's working just fine thank you for watching please consider subscribe I will be doing a lot a lot of videos on IoT and DIY projects with Arduino 80 Tiny, ESP85 and 80 Tiny 84. Thank you for watching. See you soon.